What's up, guys? Iceman here. Welcome to the Diablo Resurrected Research Institution. I am your host, Professor Icedack. Appreciate you guys coming by. Like this damn video if you will. Subscribe to the page. And swat that bell so you're notified next time I post a video. And blessings to my patrons. May you have many wives. Links in the description below. May your contributions be brought back to you sevenfold. Condolences of the creator. Yes. So, let me know in the comments below if you dogs have been playing the Diablo ladder reset. What ladder is it? Is it ladder? Is it eight or nine? I can't remember. But what you have before you now is the most godly starter ladder character imaginable after about maybe 20 hours of playing or something like that. Alright, now this isn't top tier gear. This is gear that isn't too difficult to attain. And just like back in the day, you throw your javelins and it just splits and splits and splits and splits. It goes through one enemy, it goes through another enemy. Each time it goes through them and hits some other shit, it just splits and splits and splits and splits. That's right. This is Lightning Fury. You are playing as a goddess of thunder. Uh, this is probably one of my favorite characters. This is the one I would utilize back in the day, man. And they've actually made it better, because in this video, there are two new items that were not around back in the day. And back in the day, I mean in 2006, 2007, 2008, 2009, 2010, 2011, 2012, and beyond. That's right, these items are quite new, relatively speaking. Alright, the first of which is Wisdom. Bone Visage. Yeah, and it's not all that expensive, right? A pull rune? It's, it's, not, it's not that hard to get. You can get it in a Nightmare Hellforge, can't you? You can get it in Nightmare Hellforge. I believe you can get up to an Um rune in Nightmare Hellforge. Yeah, pretty sure. So you can get this in either your Nightmare or Hell Hellforge, obviously. Pull Ith Eld. 33% piercing attack. This is godly as you know what. And here's the big deal about this helm is you don't really need razor tail anymore. If you guys have followed the research institution for some time, you know that Professor Istak loves having 100% pierce on my Javazan. No exceptions. I right, don't settle with that bullshit. Don't settle with 70%. Don't settle with just your skill. Yeah, I do have just a skill, but I mean, check this out. Pierce. Level, are you kidding me? Level, okay, level nine. Pierce level nine. 69% chance to pierce. Oh shit. Oh shit, I, am I? Am I, uh, okay, 70, uh, okay, I'm, I'm beyond the limit, so I'm at 100%. 69 plus the 33. You no longer need Razor Tail anymore, man, if you have this helm. But let's get to the roasted cows. So 33% chance to pierce. Five mana still per hit. Now, mana steel isn't all that great when you're throwing javelins, because you're not really hitting all that much. You generally don't have that great of an attack rating. But it still hits them the lightning aspect. That's why Lightning Fury is so godly. Is every time it hits. But the physical javelin is still reliant on your attack rating. And oddly enough, it doesn't even show your attack rating right here. But with that being said, your attack rating sucks. Generally. See, mine's 3,000, right? So it's, it's not that great. But I am a high level. She's level 93. Is it a she? In Diablo 2 Lures, let me know in the comments below. So you're not always hitting with a physical javelin, so Leech doesn't come in as handy as life or mana after each kill, which is another godly trait that this thing has. Wisdom Helm has plus five mana after each kill, and oh my god! 
It even has cannot be frozen. All right, so you do not need the Raven Frost Ring, which I have on this character. Are you kidding me? I almost forgot, man. 15% damage taken goes to mana. All that other bullshit. Let's get it. All right, let's go kill Eldritch. And then I'm going to show you the rest of the gear. And we're going to try ourselves some cows. But check this out. We're going to try on players one, right? But this character, this is the way. You're durable. You're strong. You're capable. You're like freaking Thor, only a woman. Or a man again. <laughs> I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. Holy shit. And check this out. You even have a poor man's enigma on teleport. All right. You are a goddess of storms. Well, not you, but the Vayman you're controlling, all right? The Vayman you're saying, go here, go there, do this, do that, throw this, stab, go stab fat boy. Look at that, stab fat boy, one stab. Murder in cold blood. Love this game. And I love the Javazan. It's just, like, look at this. She's ethereal now. So, look at my res, except for the lightning, because I have a Sunder Charm, which is the second new item that I wanted to showcase in this video. Now, as expected, and I predicted this, look back at my videos. I remember back when Sunder Charms are going to be released, everyone was like, Oh, they're going to be worth a burn, they're going to ruin, they're going to be worth more than Enigma, they're going to be worth more than Infinity. I was like, bullshit. I was like, that's not how these companies work, no. They're just going to give it to everyone, that's just how they play these days, you know? They want to appease the toddlers with these games. And sure enough, I was right. This shit falls all the time. It's cheap as hell. You could probably get this thing for a hell rune, actually. No pun intended. Uh, just a couple of weeks into the ladder. So, I mean, I would say this is a good ladder early character thing. Is the crack of the heavens grand charm. Monster lightning immunity is sundered. It's broken. But remember, when you break it, they still have 95% lightning res. So with that being said, you have to have pierce gear. But you don't really have to have Pierce here, because watch this, I'm still going to kill the hell out of things. And I have zero Lightning Pierce on this character. Alright. Now you could put Thunderstrokes in the place of Titan's Revenge, which is what I would recommend. But just to keep shit simple, I decided to use Titan's Revenge. Obviously they replenish, it's kind of handy, you get a larger quantity. And uh, they just have very nice quality of life features. You run fast as a freaking toad. Amazon skills and all that crap. So Titan's Revenge is good way to go. Lightning of Hands, Iceman, why are you wearing Lightning of Hands, Iceman? Get the two javelins. No. This is early ladder and all that bullshit. I love me some Lightning of Hands. Just basic, easy to get, easy to trade for. Fire res 50, which is great. 20% increased attack speed. And 350% damage team is there. Like Iceman, but that doesn't matter against the Lightning. Yes, that's true. But early on, before you get the Sunder Charm, for example, if you're running the pits, like what I like to do, there's a lot of demons in there that are immune to lightning, all right? So your lightning fury is useless against them. So the physical javelin, you got a little bit of attack rating, you might even want to get a blessed rain mercenary. You're going to be throwing that shit, hitting the physical demons, hitting those uh, archer people, you know those, those guys with the archers, the rogues? You throw your javelins at them and it's going to physically hit them because they're just, it's act one, all right? They don't have a ton of defense. And if you start leveling okay, you get some AR gear, you're, you're going to hit them. Occasionally. And with that being said, 350% damage to demons of your physical damage. So if you up your Titan's Revenge to Matriarchal, and no, do not get Ethereal. Ethereal Titan's Revenge are a scam, alright? The juice ain't worth the squeeze. I throw these things like a bat out of hell. I gotta repair them constantly. Because the self-repair just isn't fast enough. So if you get the Ethereal ones, you're just going to be sitting there waiting for them to replenish. Holy blasted blood toad! Let's get in there. Alright, let's teleport. Got a poor man's Enigma on Switch. You can trade for one of these and now just Puzzler. Here we go. Oh my god. Here's some baddies. Oh my god. I mean, as you can see here, it's not all that... This is for early game ladder farming. All right, now, is it, is it that great? Uh, you could say, Iceman, no, it's not. And then I could say, well, then go to town and get your damn Thunderstrokes. They're in the stash. And that's what I'm going to do in just a moment here. Let's let's get to the Chaos Sanctuary. I mean, look at this. You barely need them. Every time that damn thing, get 100% Pierce. All right, just no matter what. 
get 100% pierce. No exceptions. Don't settle for anything under that. Where the fuck is the pierce at? Where the blasted, where the blood toad is the pierce at? Plus 33% piercing attack. It doesn't count your skill. 33 plus 69 is over 100, right? Like 102 or something? All right, get to the cast sanctuary. Here we go. Here's some innate light immunes. And look at look at her just obliterate them. Holy! Oh my God! Look at what it's doing to these guys. You got to be kidding. Here, let's go to the middle. Now let me show you a, a, a secret. All right, let me show you a little tricky, tricky. I got up my sleeve. If you guys will like this video, hit the thumbs up button. Blessings to my patrons. Blessings to my channel members. I will be live streaming soon. Diablo 1. Beelzebub mod. Perhaps. <laughs> or just D2. I don't know. Let me know. Do you, would you guys rather see me uh, live stream some Beelzebub mod or D2R? I just don't know. I'll also be playing Project Diablo 2. All right, you guys see how powerful this is? Now watch this. Let's go to town. First off, let me show you these skills real quick. That's all I did. I just put one here, one there, one everywhere. No bow and crossbow. Maxed out Lightning Fury and all its synergies. So it's doing 1 to 1948 damage, all right? And now, look at this. She's still faded out. Just love that shit. Treachery, cheap armor. It's cool for Amazon. 45 increased attack speed. 5% chance class. Level 15 fade when struck. Some other nice mods. Cat's Eye. Love this amulet. Obviously, there's High Lords, but this is when you run fast as a freaking Toad. 30% faster run walk, and it's cheaper. So that's why I chose it for this video. Spirit Shield is everybody makes this shit. It's not my favorite, but whatever. It's cheap. 55% faster hit recovery. Very nice. Two to skills and all that other crap. Silk Weave Boots for the five men after each kill again with Lightning Fury. You're killing things so fast, it's just a great mod to have. Metal Heal just because. Wanted to keep it cheap and simple. T-Gods. Again... The great thing about Wisdom Helm is you don't need Razor Tail now to easily hit 100% Pierce. So now you can have T-Gods again, the great defense and all that other crap. And yeah, I have Raven Frost and Double Dip in the Kenneth kind of Frozen. But that's fine. Thunderstrokes. Four to Javelin Spear Skills, 15 IES. Negative 15%. To enemy lightning res. And that should show up here. Yep, right there. And that is a big deal. And you also attack faster. Oh my god, look at how, look at how fast she's killing this stuff. Alright, let's teleport. Teleport. Here we go, here's some innate lightning moves. Doesn't even matter. And it's going to kill them a lot faster now, the lightning moves. Because again, after you sunder uh, their immunity, they're still 95% resist to said element. Alright. So you got to pierce that shit. You don't have to. I mean, you saw just a minute ago I wasn't. Ooh, Balrog Blade. Okay, this is Ladder Reset character, okay? So, you could say, I suppose, why aren't you players, eh? Because this is a Ladder Reset character. What I always do on the ladder is I just make my own little private games. I just go from game to game to game. Farm an Eldritch. Farm a Cast Sanctuary. You know, it's usually just me. So, I kind of like to make characters out of promo for that. But even with that being said, I would bet this is still one of the greatest... Ladder reset characters. They're easy and cheap to make. That can be powerful. That can even potentially do players in. I'll show you that in another video. Alright, perhaps next video I will showcase that. And uh, maybe cows, which again is the most ideal way to farm. Nope. Look, you see this bullshit? You see how I'm almost out of these damn things already? Fucking bullshit. Uh, that is one thing that they need to change. Uh, give a bigger quantity. I mean, Project Diablo 2, what they did, they just said, screw it. We're just gonna give you infinite quantity. And I think that's a good idea. Because it's not like you're gonna, you know, outperform the Paladin, Hammered in, the Lightning Sorceress, you know, everything else. I mean, get, give them infinite quantity. What the hell? Although this character definitely can outperform them, as you can see here. I mean, look at how she just wipes the screen. It's crazy. 33 Lightning Fury. 34 bolts in total. Uh, it's very powerful. Extremely powerful. The charge strike, as you can see here, 1 to 3700 damage. 
nine charged bolts per hit. And of course, for bigger targets, they all hit the damn target. Uh, which is why, of course, it's known these are great for battle runs. Especially if you have some lightning pierce, it's just going to destroy. Let's see how fast she kills Diablo. I mean, it's... This is going to be unbelievable. Just watch this. Unfreaking believable. Kill it, 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 kill it. Couple of pokes. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one. He's dead. I mean, it just... And pretty cheap gear, you know? There's no infinity. I, I just have insight. Yeah, it's an, an ethereal cryptic axe, but I mean, as you saw, he wasn't killing much. I was killing pretty much everything. Treachery on him. Tal mask. I just love this mask for mercenaries early on. It's life leech, some all res, some life. It's cheap. People just toss it on the ground. You know what to ask for. That's a good way to go. So the video's getting a little long. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to exit out of here. I will try cows in my next video, perhaps, and try players eight. So stay tuned for that. I might make some changes on this character. Let me know if you'd like to see some changes. What would you change about this character? Let me know in the comments below. And what do you think is the best ladder starter? I mean, this one doesn't have teleport, but again, you can go Nagus Puzzler. All right, you could trade for this thing early on. And yeah, you got to recharge it. It's tedious, but it ain't that bad. It can get you the Chaos Sanctuary and get you where you need to go. But nonetheless, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace be with you.